Let's get after it and let's lose some weight. Uh, and, and we know that our government uh, makes all kinds of recommendations and people still don't lose weight. They haven't got it figured out yet. So maybe we'll, we'll learn a little bit about eating organically and why people who eat organically tend to be healthier and have a better life and uh, learn about uh, cleansing the body today. So Mr. Cliff Kasky has an interesting story that I hope he tells you a, a, a little bit more about. Uh, Mr. Kasky has been a, a county agent in Hayes County and recently started cleansing his own body because of toxins. And uh, he has been a chemical person and he's gradually working into organics. And he's going to tell the story of, of why he thinks uh, this organic method is working for him and uh, some of the things that he's doing on his farm. And if you don't know that Cliff is uh, uh, one of our local uh, suppliers that comes to our farmer's market, uh, both here and in, in uh, San Marcos and well this, this area. And he brings uh, produce to the market and certainly makes life a whole lot easier for us, especially around beach time. So I'll let Cliff take over and talk about his, his journey. Okay, thank you, David. I was trying to remember exactly when we met, and I guess it was through the Groundskeepers Association, primarily. Yes. Uh, but yes, I've been a uh, resident down here since uh, 1977. Served in four other counties as an extension agent, and of course, you know, some of you are old enough, I, as I look at the audience, not all of you are old enough to remember. But back in the 50s when good old a little bitty black and white TVs. <laughs> I actually come out a little before that, but up on the high plains we didn't get them till I think Emerald and Lubbock both put in stations about 1954, if I recall right, maybe 53, 50. But I can remember, I think it was DuPont, I'm not sure which chemical company, but we got this, this ad, you know, sponsoring uh, Better Living Through Chemistry. And you know, we already had DDT. Mother sprayed enough golf spray, which was DDT, around to uh, last me more than a lifetime. Because she, you know, the neighbor uh, got polio. And mother's afraid of flies. And I'll guarantee you that daily during the summer, from the last freeze to the first freeze, she sprayed the window screens and the, the door screen and sprayed everything. And, and uh, I can remember Daddy spraying my pony with, with the same stuff because it come up with lice. I don't know where it got it, but somewhere it got lice on it. And, you know, for as dry, I was a straddle that horse a riding, so I don't know how much I absorbed. I was also county agent out in West Texas in Hudspeth County, uh, El Paso County, the only one west, when uh, the big dairy out there had to dump all of the uh, milk because it was contaminated with DDT and it was traced to an alfalfa field in Hudspeth County and being county agent I was totally involved uh, 20 years before that alfalfa field had been a cotton field for many years and had been heavily sprayed with DDT the alfalfa picked it up the calves was raised on it these two-year-old heifers, as they came in, caved and went into the milking barn. They still had DDT stored in their bodies and their fat, and it went into the milk, and it was picked up and found. We also found back, and this is in the 60s now when this was happening, and this wasn't the way I'd planned my talk at all, David, <laughs> so you got me to... But anyway... We found out that many of the pesticides being used in the cotton fields, the reason the chemical companies could talk about they were biodegradable was that they could not be found after used in the soil. They changed to something else that was even worse. And so, many of those, as far as I know, all of them have been taken off the market in the United States. 
They haven't been taken off the market in Mexico and the, the other worlds adjoining us other countries. So when when you're eating grapes and fruit out of season far as the United States, guess where your fruit's coming from? Mexico. In Mexico they've learned there's one area I I almost went down to visit and then something come up and I didn't get a chance to go on the tour. We tried to get a tour up. I'm past president of Texas uh, State Fruit Grower Association. But they've learned how to fake the trees into thinking that it's time to produce again. And so they get two crops out of the year and they have a crop when we can't have a crop. And I'll stop there and tell you more about myself. I grew up in Plainview, Texas, up on the high plains. Uh, my mother's grandfather on her mother's side left his ten kids all close to a section of land to piece to farm. And uh, I was born out on one of those places and uh, grew up more or less out there. I, I know how to take a siphon tube and put my hand over it as I fill it with water in the ditch and pull it out and irrigate and how to get 60 tubes set before the dam breaks because we, you know, most people don't know what I'm talking about but that's, that's a circus in itself. But anyway, because if the dam breaks and the ditch goes to running over you cannot shovel enough soil fast enough to stop the flow of water and you have to go turn the irrigation well off and you don't want to have to do that. Daddy will whip you. But anyway, <laughs> kids don't know what whippings are nowadays. But anyway, I grew up, graduated from there. I went back uh, last June to my 50th class reunion, so I've been around a while and seen a lot of things. Uh, Bachelor of Science degree in Agriculture Education. I've got a Master's degree in Biology. Right before I began to get ready to retire, I was tired of allergies. My dad had suffered with allergies and after living here a while I had allergies and uh, I got the home ec agent that's not what they call them today. I call them, still call them homemaking agent. <laughs> but anyway, I got her books on human nutrition and I read them. And when I got through, guess what I was thinking? We don't know a blooming thing about human nutrition. Then I run on, my uncle actually introduced me uh, to Dr. Joel Wallach. I don't know whether y'all heard of him, the mineral doctor. And and I started taking the colloidal minerals and began to add vitamins. And, you know, I cleared up. And went for a long time. But about, it's been almost four years ago now, um, <clears throat> I got sick again and went to having problems and I'd started trying to lose some weight. And tell, I'll tell you something. You don't want to lose from 197 to 154 pounds in three or four months time. Because you'll run clean out of your clothes and, and what you see in the mirror scares you because it's a skeleton. And that's what happened to me. You want to watch it close. But anyway, Went into a doctor, I was having neuropathy problems, in other words, my nerves were shot. I had felt like spark plugs of firing in my body and everything else and and uh, they they bled me and bled me and bled me, you know, and they well you're a type two diabetic and wouldn't treat me for that and I kept getting sicker and sicker and losing weight and getting weaker and uh, taking